just have a few announcements. Um, and then at the end of the announcements, we're actually going to do a group photo. So we're going to just do it right here. So it's just very quick announcements. And then if everybody could come to the front of the room and just line up right here, Ian's going to take a photo from the back of the room. So get, get prepared for that. And I know some people maybe are getting a little antsy about the end of the day. But we promise we'll get out of here in the next 10 minutes or so. Promise. Um, so the first announcement is, uh, can the uh, Force 11 board members kind of come up and just kind of stand uh, up at the front? And um, also, uh, those that were involved in the local organizing, um, we would just like them to stand up and give a big round of applause for everybody here in Montreal who's helped. Yeah. Uh, it took a lot of work, especially from the local team. Um, we've been spending a lot of energy trying to make sure that this is a Montreal-led uh, Force 11, and so we were very proud to bring um, the voices from Montreal, Quebec, and Canada into, into the room. Uh, a one note for the speakers. Um, thank you. Everybody give a round of applause for the speakers. Um, we want to remind speakers and poster presenters to upload your files to Zenodo. So there is a uh, Zenodo collection that was sent out. If you need that, just uh, ping us over Slack. Um, the uh, next thing is about Force 11 conferences going forward. So um, we will be doing another Force uh, 2019, same time period next year. Um, the location, it can't announce it yet, but we hope to be able to announce that in the next week or so. Um, and then also, as we were talking about uh, throughout the event, that um, we're planning a 2020 event in Latin America and Chile, and we're really hoping to have a similar kind of uh, flavor where we're bringing people in from, from the local communities. So we really appreciate your help, not just here, but going forward to, to making that happen. Um, we also have a Scholarly Communications Institute that Force 11 is involved in, and Dan had uh, some announcements around that as well. We don't have the slides in. Okay, this is good. Um, so we run a, a, a summer institute, as you know. We've done two years of it, of the Force 11 uh, Scholarly Communications Institute. Um, and we've been talking uh, with a new sponsor for that, and we were able to finalize that today. So uh, starting next summer, uh, we'll be uh, running the institute at uh, University of California, Los Angeles. Um, and they've agreed to sponsor us for the, at least the next three years uh, and really participate in express. Yeah, it's wonderful news. Um, but also to really experiment with some, some very useful things there. So we'd already been planning to, uh, to take what has been very much a community effort and, and the ideas of research showing up in classes and now move that into a, a, a striated uh, curriculum with ideas for what people need to know who are brand new to the field, what people need to know in different disciplines, uh, perhaps at the intermediate level. But UCLA is also particularly interested in doing things like using their extension school. <laughs> So we'll, with hopefully within a year or two, be able to offer, for example, extension credit uh, for people who can use it as part of their professional development at their employee, at their employers. So it's an extremely exciting thing. We don't actually have the date set yet, although the working plan is roughly the same time as in the past, which is last week in July, first week in August. And as always, we're interested in participation from across disciplines and especially across regions. We still do have some funding to support that, particularly uh, uh, early career researchers and researchers researchers coming from the Global South. So please keep tuned. It's like as of a couple of hours ago, so we haven't got anything up on it yet, but it will be coming very, very soon. And uh, stay tuned for next year. Thank you. Yeah, so I don't know if have any um, so I guess one thing I just wanted to comment about is that you know we we as um, the board and uh, the organizers JB and Carly and I and the whole local team spent a lot of time on the conference and we've gotten a lot of thank yous but we just want to remind everybody that although we are part of a board of an organization or part of the organizing like Force 11 is a community you are all Force 11 and so this is a community event for bringing people together so we hope that it wasn't just a great conference about hearing great speakers but it was also about bringing the community together and the same is true for the Scholarly Communications Institute. It's a great way for bringing more people into the Force 11 movement and then also for you all to be able to share your skills with that through the training that happens there. Um, and with that, it's just uh, thank you. Um, yeah.
you might have to just use that. I just want to thank uh, John. I mean, he was really the uh, the force and Carly, really the force behind that uh, that event. And that was uh, also I have one thank also for Joanne Clark because she was uh, really oh, yes. so instrumental in the uh, yeah. in the making that event happen. And uh, yeah, that's yes. that's it. Yeah, yeah thank, <laughs> thank you. you. So it's it's somewhat of a tradition for us to do a group photo at the end of the force event. So if everybody wants to come up, we'll just take a quick photo and um, be able to go on our ways. Thank you.